Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative. This week I have another tutorial for you. This time it's in the Divi blog module. I'm going to show you how to add icons to the meta text. So the author, the date, and the category. We're going to add icons to those. You can see what I mean here in the thumbnail with the little icons there the meta text. All right, so let's get started here. This is actually a really simple tutorial, just two steps. So the first is to add a custom class to the module. And here you can see that happening. So the class that we're adding is PA blog meta icon. So just copy that class and go into your website to your blog module, open up the settings, go to the advanced tab, CSS ID and class is toggle and then right here paste that in there. So in the blog settings PA blog meta icons. All right, go ahead and save that So the next step is to add the CSS to your website now you can add CSS to your Divi theme options That's a good place to do it if you don't have a child theme if you do have a child theme then put it in there so there are actually three different snippets here because we're doing uh, three different items, right? The, the author, the publish date, and the categories. So we're going to do it in three steps. I could have put them all together, and you can too. You can put them all in the same place. It's just, um, I don't know why I keep them separate. But anyway, we'll just do one at a time here. I'm going to copy this first one. Um, you can see that we're adding the content in a before pseudo class. So we're putting it before the word, saying the content, and then this is from the you know the ET modules font family. We're choosing a collar. I'm, I'm, I'm putting font weight bold just to give it that little extra boldness. You'll see what I mean if you take it out. And then we're saying margin right because we want it to move over and have a little space between the icon and the text, okay? So it's the same uh, for each, each of these. All right, anyway, over here on the website, you could put this in theme options. Like I said, I'm going to um, show you live with the user CSS Chrome extension. So I'm going to just paste that and right away. You can see that we've added the icon to the author. All right, let's do the next one. Um, actually, the next one would be uh, the date. I don't necessarily have them in order. There you can see the calendar icon that I chose and then category. And again, I chose that icon. You could use like the tag icon or whatever. Um, you could go over here to, um, if you type in like ET modules into Google, um, you'll get the elegant icon font blog post from like, you know, nine years ago or something. And here they are. You can see that I chose yeah, like this one here is what I chose for the, I could have chose this one, E07B. In fact, let me just change that real quick. See, like if I wanted to do that. So it's that simple to customize, obviously the color. And I'll show you what I mean with the bold. If I take that out on like the date calendar, yeah, it's just a little thinner. So anyway, that's it. That's literally all there is to this tutorial. Um, you know, adding those icons is a, is a really quick two-step process. And if you did not know, I do this every Tuesday. Um, so yeah, that's what you get. Um, if you subscribe to our channel, we're getting close to uh, 10,000 subscribers at the time of this recording. It's really exciting. Again, we do this every week, something related to Divi. Um, yeah, so that's what you get. All right, well, be sure to check out all of our other blog related tutorials. We have a lot of them in the blog series. And of course, we have hundreds of others as well. All right, we'll see you all in our next video.